Hey everyone, I'm Sheetal Singh and I'm working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science, Ramanujan College. In this session, I will be demonstrating about Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle allows you to convert any video into your lesson. In the previous session, we have discussed about insert learning that allows you to convert any web page into your lesson. With Edpuzzle, you will be able to make interactive video lessons for your students. With Edpuzzle, you get videos from a wide variety of sources like YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic and many more. You can also embed comprehension questions, audio notes and voiceover in your video lessons. It's a must try for any flipped classroom. Edpuzzle introduces self-paced learning that allows you or your students to complete the video lesson assignments anywhere. It's a total game changer to make sure your absent students don't fall behind. So let's get started with Edpuzzle in your flipped classroom. To get started with Edpuzzle, you can just search for Edpuzzle in the Google search box or you can just directly type in edpuzzle.com in the address bar. So right now I have typed it in the search box and here the first link appears up Edpuzzle. Just click on this and it will take you to the Edpuzzle home page. Now here you can see the option for getting started with Edpuzzle. So if you already have an account on Edpuzzle, you can directly log in. If you are new to Edpuzzle, you just click on get started and then it will ask you a series of questions that how you wish to use your Edpuzzle account. So it is starting, it is asking me that I am a teacher or I am a student. So first I will demonstrate the teacher account, then I'll be demonstrating the student account, that how a student account differs from the teacher's account. So let's have a look at the teacher's account first. So I'm clicking on I am a teacher and then it will ask you to sign up with uh, Edpuzzle or you can sign in with your Google account. So right now I am signing with, your, with my Google account. So it will ask me to choose any of the accounts. So you can choose any account. So I've verified my account and then you can add a password if you wish to to your account. So I'm right now I'm leaving it blank and I click on agree. I agree to Edpuzzle Steam Terms of Service. And then I click on create new account. So it will create a new account for me. Okay. Now before uh, entering into the interface, it will ask you for the uh, institution that you are affiliated with. So if you are a student, then you can just choose the option of I am a student, let me out. So it will not ask your organization. But you are, if you are a teacher, then you have to provide any institution. So let's say I'm giving my institutional address. So if anyone from your institution is already using that, so here you can see a lot of teachers are using from these colleges. Okay, so if your college or institution is not listed here, then you can just click on this option, add my school or organization. So if your school is not listed, then you can just click on this, write down the name and you can click on add my school or organization. All right. Or already if your institute's uh, email ID or address is written here, you can find your institution here. Then you can just select that institution. All right. And then I just click on add my school or organization. So now I add up and I give a location, Delhi, India. All right. And I add school. Now, as soon as I do this, so it will give me the other options. So if I wish to select any one of these, so let's say I select this Ramanujan College, which is the perfect one. And then it is asking me to add the level of the students that I'm going to teach or I'm going to create the lessons for which levels of the students and the subject. So you can select the level. So you can create lectures for 5th standard, 10th standard, 11th standard from pre tertiary to 12th standard and for higher education student. So I'm selecting the higher education and then you can select the subject, whatever subject you wish to 
choose okay so let's say i choose computer science and then you can add another subject and grade level if you wish to so uh, this is particularly used because uh, you, it will uh, give you a sorted content or uh, the content related to the level or the subject that you have mentioned here okay so the videos available uh, in your channel or in your edpuzzle interface will be uh, regarding this level and subject that you enter all right and then you just click on start teaching now as soon as you click on start teaching you will be able to see the edpuzzle interface so this is the edpuzzle interface and on the top you can see please check your in, uh, inbox and verify your account so you can verify your account so let me just do that and i verify the email all right so it is verifying my email So my account has been verified and now I can start creating the Edpuzzle videos, video lessons. Okay. So this thing is necessary in order to uh, start creating content and save your content as well. So as soon as you uh, verify your email, so that notification will go. Okay. Now this is the interface that you see for the first time when you enter your Edpuzzle account. On the top right corner, you see three options, content, gradebook, and my classes. Okay. So the first option that we're going to start with is before creating any content, you, you need classes to share that content with. Okay, so let's visit the my classes option. So you just click on my classes and right now it is showing that I do not have any particular class. Okay, so every teacher needs a class. So you just click on any of the buttons that are available here, add a new class or you can import your class directly from your Google Classroom. All right. Uh, so right now I'm using this uh, fresh account. So I do not have any uh, Google Classroom class associated with it. So if you wish to import any of the class, so if you have signed in from that particular email ID, then you can just directly import your Google Classroom class from there. Okay. So let's say I create a new class here only on the Edpuzzle platform. So let me create a new class and let's say this is my class. Okay. And the description is the, let's say it is BSc Honors class. All right and then you can choose the uh, classic class in which you will be able to add uh, as many videos as you wish and open class in which uh, that can be accessible to anyone outside your class as well so i am keeping it as a classic one all right so just click on create class and your class will be created okay it is saying that invalid classroom description i think it does not take space all right so the error is in the description so i think it does not take the dots and spaces in the description so let's say i just write down computer science class all right And now it has created my class you can see on the left hand side my class computer science class has been added to my classes all right so you can add more classes you can add another class here from again by clicking on add new class now the first thing you need to do is you can invite students so right now it is showing that there are no due assignments no due date for students and there are no students as well in the classroom okay so you can invite students from here so just click on invite students or you can invite students from here as well the class options will give you the options for editing your class information again so when you click on class options so you will be able to set up the edit the details that you have added and you can lock the classroom if you do not want to allow any of the other students to join your class all right so you can lock the classroom so right now we have not added anyone so we are not going to lock it okay so we are going to invite students so let me invite myself uh, my another account as a student all right so let's click on invite students and here is a general disclaimer that uh, your school or your uh, it requires parental consent to use edpuzzle because it has a lot of content available uh, from various sources like youtube khan academy 
and Vimeo and other applications as well. So it requires a parental consent. So you need to select that uh, with whichever option suits you. All right. So I can, so since my students are of uh, a higher education level, so I can just select no. If you are teaching in a school, then you need to select that particular uh, yes for since the age of your students is, is not that according to the law. So let's say I select no and I click on continue. All right. Now this is your class code. As soon as you click on invite students, so this class code as you use in the Google Classroom, you get a code and you share it with your students. So same uh, case is here. You can share this code with your students to allow them to join. So this is the code. So let's copy it. And now I will join uh, as a student from another account. So for right now I am skipping it. Okay. So I'll be uh, joining in as a student later. So let's close this. So this is the class code. So whenever you feel like uh, adding students, you just uh, need to share this class code and invite your students. Share it in on WhatsApp or you can share it on your Google Classroom class or any other way or by email by sending text message. Okay, so they will be able to join your class. Now moving on. So this is your class. So I, would, I think I'm done with the classes. So if you already have a class, you can just uh, click on add to new class. And if you have a class in Google Classroom, you can directly import it from there. So this was about adding a class on Edpuzzle or importing a class from Google Classroom. All right. Uh, you can add students by sharing this particular code. Now the next option on the right hand side you see is the gradebook. So right now we have not assigned any of the assignments, so it will be blank. Okay, so it is showing that there is no gradebook. So since no students and no grades. Now this is the important option, the content option where we are going to create our content and how you can use that content to use that in your class. All right. So when you click on the content option you will be able to see the options available so you can see trending in computers so since i have selected the option of uh, while i was setting up the account i have selected the grade as well as i have selected the subject so it is showing the uh, trending in computers right now so these three uh, four videos the top four videos are being uh, selected for the computers section all right so here you can see trending in Delhi, trending in India. These are the general uh, or the trending videos that are available on the Edpuzzle platform itself. Okay. And these videos are basically uh, created by other fellow teachers, fellow colleagues of your Edpuzzle uh, users who have created these videos for their students. All right. On the left hand side, you will be able to see the popular channels here from where you can insert images. So insert videos, sorry. Uh, so on the left hand side, this is the by default first one is the Ed Puzzle. So it has a lot of videos already created. Already created by the users of Ed Puzzle. So any of the other teacher has already created it, then you can use it directly in your class. All right. Then you have the option of selecting videos from YouTube. You can select from Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talks and a lot of other options. All right. So uh, in this video or in this session, I will be going to taking, uh, I'll be uh, taking up a YouTube video and then I'll be showing you how you can uh, create it as a lesson for your students by adding uh, various things in your video. So you can add voiceover, you can add notes, you can ask questions in between. All right. So we'll be doing all of that in while we create our content. All right. So let's uh, start with uh, the YouTube video.